and find out why button here is such a little miracle, why it's so important to look after your animals and pets tonight. Fireworks, bonfires, it's all very exciting over mm. the next few days, but not so much fun for the animals. True. Sarah Farmer's away from the studio this evening, but nonetheless keeping herself warm indoors. Sarah, where are you? Well, I'm at a house in Sussex with a few cats, a dog and a baby deer. Button here was rescued three weeks ago, and earlier I caught up with Sarah Cowan, who's been helping to look after her. Little baby Button here, mm -hmm. she's a bit of a miracle. She is really, yeah. she's been um, born very late in the year anyway um, and on top of that she was found caught up in stock fencing all around her back um, with quite bad injuries and then she went hugely downhill after that um, and it's taken us three weeks to sort of stabilise her and she's actually feeding properly on her own, <laughs> a bit frantic. <laughs> she is, yeah. And how will you get her to become sort of naturally wild how will you do that as soon as she's sort of um not drinking so much milk and she's actually uh, a bit stronger she'll start going out in an outdoor pen during the day and we've actually got some older ones from this earlier on in the summer that she'll start integrating with and then gradually um just increasing the space letting her roam around and her natural instincts will just kick back in Well, well, I'm joined now by Trevor Weeks, who actually saved Button's life. Trevor, you must be delighted to see her getting on so well three weeks on. Definitely. She's, a, she's an absolute miracle, to be honest. I never expected her to survive. And we saw Billy earlier, and you can just see how big she should be and how small she is at the moment. So she's an absolute miracle. Absolute miracle. And tonight must be a busy night, bonfire night. Any quick tips for any pet owners? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, keep, make sure doors and windows are nice and securely shut, keeping pets obviously inside, and obviously turn the TV up so that they can't hear the fireworks as well. Excellent stuff. Well, we're staying safe and warm for tonight, but what's the forecast got in store?